Alright, hello everybody, this is Bragnar. Here we are in my kitchen, and today we're going to be uh, doing a little bit of cooking. Um, I'm a bit pressed for time today, i got to go into work soon, so this isn't going to be like, you know, from scratch or anything. This is going to be like a quick, easy, lunch on the go type of thing. Um, so what it is, is I'm going to be making frozen pot stickers. Now I know a few of you are probably thinking, frozen pot stickers? Like, that's not cooking. Well, you're right, it's not really cooking, but um, I'm going to show you a really great way to make some frozen pot stickers. You can take something as cheap and shitty as frozen dumplings and make them in a way so that they're like almost like from, you know, a Chinese restaurant or something like that. I'm going to show you how to make some real good dumplings right now. So, here we go. Got the frozen dumplings right here. A plate. Make sure you turn on your stove top. You're gonna need a nice pan like this. A nice frying pan, just like this right here. Okay? Something uh, I don't I don't I don't care what type of pan. I have one of these non-stick Teflon pans, but use whatever the hell you have. Um, just give me one second. So what you're gonna want to do is make sure this is heating up nicely. Uh, Make sure the pot's clean. Pan. There's a few spots on it. I'm just going to rub that down with a wet paper towel. It's not dirty. You know, <laughs> I just realized a few of you are probably thinking, oh, just a wet paper towel? That's kind of gross. It's just spots from, like, water that was left on here when it was getting washed from the previous use, probably. Something like that. So, I'm just going to make sure it's got a nice, you know, clean surface. That's fine. And the first step into making some authentic like frozen pot stickers is getting some oil in that pan. So what I'm gonna do is use sesame oil. Sesame oil is very popular in uh, Chinese cuisine and other Asian cuisines. Um, I'm not actually positive how authentic that is. I'm almost positive it's like a big thing in Chinese cuisine. But, um, yeah, I just, I feel like it's a nice oil to use for this. It has a decent flavor. If you like sesame, I don't know. I like it. I enjoy it. So here's what we're going to do. You make sure that oil's heating up. You don't want the, you don't want the pan to be super hot. I had it all the way up at high, but that's just to, uh, just to really get it heated. Once it gets super hot and I put the oil in and you start to see the oil bubble, lower it down to like medium heat, medium high. And what you want to do is take your pot stickers with the flat side down right in the pan. You know, you could be a noob and you could take these babies, pop them in the microwave and be on your way. But who wants to eat that? They'll be gross and mushy and wet and disgusting. the real OG way. <laughs> um, Alright, I'm going to make five dumplings. I think that'll be good for now. So, you let it sit in there on the bottom. The point here is to get a nice hard seared bottom. Like, uh, if you go to a Chinese takeout place and you order pan-fried dumplings, that's the type of thing that's going to be happening right now. A nice crunchy, brown, crispy sear on the bottom. And then when we're done with that, we add some water into the pot, cover it, and let the top steam so it's soft and delicious on the top, but crunchy and uh, crunchy and brown on the bottom. It's going to be good. So yeah, like I said, even though this isn't real cooking, it's, uh, it's a good technique to make something quick and simple that you can go buy at the store. And, you know, you just have it for whenever you want some good, a decent snack. Or a to-go thing, you know, like me, I gotta go to work soon, so this is just a quick thing I'm throwing together, you know? Always make sure you have a towel on you when you're cooking, it's just good in case you have like a, you know, you need to grab something hot, or there's a spill or whatever. It's a good thing to have. So, as you can probably tell by the sound, the sizzling of the dumplings here, Bottoms are frying nicely. 
I like to watch out for popping. The oil does pop. <laughs> if it's popping too much, just lower the heat down. But, um, yeah, this isn't too bad. What I like to do is kind of move, move them around a bit, make sure they get a nice even distribution in the oil, make sure they're not dry on the bottom. If your stove top is a little not perfectly level like mine is, all the oil is going to go to one side of the pan, and that could be a problem, I guess. So the main thing really is just let them sit, let the bottom sear. I'm going to pick them up and check every now and then. As um, I don't know if you can tell, but hold on, maybe I'll bring one up to the camera real quick. Alright, check this out. The bottom is starting to get nice and brown, but we could we wanted to get more brown than that. We wanted to get a nice crispy brown sear on the bottom. So just give it maybe one more minute even. Alright guys, so they're still cooking, they're getting closer to being done. Um I guess a bit of a safety thing, because I just, you know, I'm a bit casual, I don't mind the occasional splatter, it's not that bad, but it, it can be bad if you have a lot of oil in the pan, so I would not advise to do what I'm doing right now. That's kind of bad. Use a pair of tongs or whatever it is that you have. Use something that can, you know, you can reach in there and grab what you need to. Okay, so... I'll give you another update on how these things are looking. As you can tell, woo, uh, as you can tell, the bottom of the, the of the pot stickers are now turning an even golden brown. But it's still, it's not quite there. It needs to go a bit longer. I'm really aiming for that nice uh, brown, crispy bottom. Not too crispy though. We don't want to burn the things. few of these, make sure you cook everything evenly, if you know what I mean. If you, uh, you just gotta make sure that everything is kinda getting the same type of heat. So, as I mentioned before, my stove top's a little, a little not so level. So you just gotta make sure everything's in the nice hot spot of the pan. Okay, okay, we getting there, we getting there. Alright. Come on. There we go. Yes. Alright. So, here's a good example. I'm going to take them off the heat because they're done searing. But, if you take a look here, look at that. Nice and brown and bubbly and crispy. It's going to be delicious. So, what we do now, put these down. Take your pan. Be very careful when you're doing this because when you add water to oil, it's a bad, it's kind of a bad reaction, or it can be a bad reaction. Let these cool a little bit. Don't put it in there searing hot. But what you really want to do now is just add a teeny bit of water into the bottom of the pan, put them back on the heat, which should be lowered a lot. I was on medium-high heat, bring it down to low, bring it to like, uh, like mine goes from zero to nine. I was on seven, bring it down to like four. Okay, so now... <clears throat> What I do is just add a teeny little bit of water on the edge of the pan, not right in the center, because it'll be super hot and it'll probably explode. Yep, okay. Nice. That was good. So you can hear it now. Put it back on the heat and take a nice pan cover. Cover that bitch. Woo! Did you see that? <laughs> Alright, give it a second. So we let these steam for maybe, I don't know, a minute. It doesn't need to steam for that long, and uh, they should be good. We'll be back when they're almost done. Alright guys, so I just checked the pot stickers. Uh, seems like they could be done in just maybe a few more seconds, actually. Give it like a half a minute, 30 seconds or so. and. Um, yeah, you're about to see the best pot stickers you've ever seen. Alright, I think it's good to uncover. Let's unveil the beast.
All right. Yes, yes, perfect. Just let this cool down a bit and I'm gonna show you guys if I can with the camera here. Better yet, I'll pick up the camera. Give me a second. So shut off the heat or just move the thing off the heat in general. All right, I'm gonna pick this camera up and show you guys exactly what these babies look like. Let me just get my, uh, okay. So there, there, there are the pot stickers. Let me just focus. Yes, all right. So if you can tell, they look nice and puffy and soft and delicious on top, but brown and crispy on the bottom. Oops, is it in focus? No, okay. Yeah, it looks really, really nice. I'm excited for this. Transfer them over to your plate. And um, what I like to do is, I mean, stuff like this that you buy at the store frozen is usually like flavored or some something like that. Not flavored, but seasoned. Um, this is, I think, just chicken and garlic or scallion, something like that. Uh, anyway, as I was gonna say though, I really like to eat things like this with uh, with just a light hot sauce, nothing too crazy. I have a good example right over here in the fridge. Give me one second. I'm gonna place the camera down again. Oops. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, right here from Trader Joe's, this hot sauce. Green Dragon, this is good stuff, especially with something like this. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. That was how to make a nice, easy pot sticker snack. The good way, the official way. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Leave any comments, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.